Welcome brewers and lab nerds. Today I'm going to show you how to make a liquid form of calcium chloride. If you are like me and you modify the water profile of your brewing water, you probably have been adding calcium chloride at some point. The problem is that calcium chloride absorbs a lot of moisture, so you don't know exactly how pure your calcium chloride is. There are three main types of calcium chloride. It's going to either be anhydrous calcium chloride, which even though anhydrous really means 100%, it, it normally becomes 94 to 97% uh, by mass. The uh, second form is dehydrous calcium chloride, which is somewhere between 77 and 80% pure. And then you have the liquid form, which we're going to make today. And of course, you can decide how strong the solution is going to be. But 10 to 30% is the most practical range. Anything above that, any small variations in how much you're adding compared to what you're supposed to, it's going to make a very big difference. And also it's going to become more viscous and become harder to pour. So the formula on how to do this is you want to start out with about 120 grams of calcium chloride to every thousand grams of water. And you want to use reverse osmosis water or uh, start out with distilled water. That way you know that the only thing that's in there is calcium chloride. Now what I've done is I've already weighed out 500 grams of water here. This is uh, RO water and it is cold. Then I weighed out 60 grams of my um, anhydrous calcium chloride which is the same ratio as the 120 to 1000. So as you add the calcium chloride, you have an exoth exothermic reaction, meaning it's going to release a lot of heat or give off a lot of heat. So that's why I start with cold water. If you start with warm water, you can actually reach the boiling point. So just to check out the temperature increase, I added my little IKEA kitchen thermometer here. It's showing 12 degrees Celsius right now. I'm going to go ahead and add calcium chloride and see what the temperature climbs to. So we immediately jump to 27 degrees, 31, 37, 40, currently at 44, 47 degrees. I'm going to stir it up in there. Try to get it all into solution. Now we have distributed the heat a little bit. The temperature has dropped to 22 degrees. And we're now back. The uh, calcium chloride is fully dissolved into the solution. And now we just have to do a little bit of math to figure out how strong the solution is. There are two different ways of doing this. One is using a hydrometer with some math or the other one is to use a graduated laboratory um, measuring device like this one and a scale. So if you use a hydrometer, it normally tops at around 1.120 or so, which means you can measure a solution up to about a 20% strength doing it this way. So what I'm gonna do is just to fill the hydrometer until or the, uh, the tube until the hydrometer floats. There we go. Give it a quick spin just to release any bubbles stuck to the side of the um, hydrometer. That's important that you make this measurement once the solution has cooled to the calibration temperature of your hydrometer. So this specific one is calibrated to uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit or I believe that's about 15.6 degrees Celsius. So once your solution has cooled to that temperature, then you can take a measurement. This one shows, uh, let's see, 1.50. All right. Then the other way of doing that, we'll remember that one for now. The other way is using a scale. So I'm going to fill this one up to 50 milliliters with the solution once it's been teared out. It's 
so 50 milliliters of water weighs exactly 50 grams. So all we got to do is to take the weight of what this one weighs, divide it into the weight of what it would be in water, and that would be the specific gravity by using a scale. So in this case, it weighs 52 grams, and it is 50 milliliters. So 52 divided by 50, and that would be the specific gravity. All right. Once you know the specific gravity, there is quite the elaborate formula, which is to find the, the strength in percentage by weight, you take negative 36.158 times the specific gravity to the second power plus 183.75 times specific gravity minus 147.47. So that's a lot of work. You don't necessarily have to do that because if you do like me, you use Martin Brugard's spreadsheet called Brune Water, and it is excellent and will do all that calculation for you from version 3.0 and forward. Okay, once you know your solution specific gravity, you go to this portion here on adjustment summary, page five of the Brune Water spreadsheet. And this here is just a calculator. So you go ahead and enter in what solution uh, specific gravity you have. In my case, it's 1.050, which gives me a percentage strength of that solution by weight, 5.6. So you can see I entered in 5.6 over here. This is just a calculator. You have to enter that number over here and make sure you select liquid under the form of calcium chloride that you have. The um, results that you end up with, like right here, it says 1.97 grams and 2.39 grams. That is grams of liquid solution. So you got to just weigh out your liquid solution on a very accurate scale. And that is it. Hopefully you like that. Please subscribe to the channel below and uh, we'll have some more good videos in the near future. Cheers.